All right. How well preserved was the plane? Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. <laughs> no shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? Yeah, well, just one shark. Ah. Oh. Hey, one was enough. Wasn't Comrade going to get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Can I ask you why you said no? Um... Alex, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't thinking straight. You weren't? Julia, what does that mean? I don't know. Well, we almost just got ourselves killed, and then suddenly out of nowhere, you pop the question. Okay, I got you. But, uh, I guess I s still don't really understand. If it wasn't such a, uh, intense situation, would your answer have been any different? Oh, gosh. I think so. Yeah, I... I, th I think I just I got surprised, and I'm so sorry. Let's I just lean it. them on, chat. Oh, That's what girls do. I'm the one who's sorry. I thought that was it. The end of a relationship. Whoa. Uh. I, I guess I'll go with I, I love you, Alex. You know that, right? Of course. Oh. I love you too. Uh. Where's so sweet. everybody else? I'll go get them. Why don't you just chill out here? All right, I think I undid the damage or hey, whatever that was. Hey, you see my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get oh, him. God. Sure. Uh. <laughs> the Coast Guard here. Coast Guard! The Coast Guard are here! What? Everybody flush their meth! We gotta get rid of all this meth! We can't let them take us alive! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so that's literally the dumbest thing oh, I've ever heard. <laughs> literally. Seriously, you can't fuck around like that, Julia. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Yeah, that was pretty dumb. Okay. All right. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. What is that? You all right? You seem kind of preoccupied. No, I'm good. Sorry. Didn't realize I was spacing out. I don't know what I'm doing. Does the accident mean we can't do any more diving? Let me just say this once more for the record. Going into that plane was super dangerous. All sorts we of different stuff. Okay. Air rescue now service. Done, so we just have to lie about it forever, or else we're gonna go to jail. Well, my lips are sealed. So. We're going All to these tomorrow. dead dudes. All right, I guess that's it. Yeah. Fun. It's, it's like I dangerous. like I had never uh, went there. It. I'll go down with you and we'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. Oh God! Run away. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh no, not yet. I got distracted. Yeah, you literally saw me up top, bro. You don't have much time to do stuff on that. I feel like it. I'm supposed to go Let's find go something else. Like, I went for the camera, but I bet you there was something else I was supposed to find. Come here, that been Dixon. Better. Easy, Tiger. We should get back. 
Right here. That was also a weird exchange. Do you, do you feel like all of these are weird exchanges? Because we all don't. I know I do. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone. Check it out. He just called his Manchurian girlfriend the drunk. Gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Those Maybe the plane's destination. All right. You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes what a couple up hours there? How's it going? Stay steady. Wow. You find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Let's be apologetic. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Okay. Maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Yeah, let's, let's hear, hear it. it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. <laughs> Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, ancient eye patch, wooden man. leg, the whole nine yards, and for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse Seems stood atop an atoll, legit. isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. He literally just rhymed in the middle morning, of the story. He comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. The Shush. woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. Lizzie Borden. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a Fine, meat it was a meat hook. <laughs> Just switches the story. This is true. Wait a minute. Are you changing the murder weapon? I thought this was a true story. A lot of yeah, blood. Yeah, there a lot it is. Of carnage. Who's to say how it was done? Okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here. In the closet. Yeah. Marriage is a bitch, huh? So the lighthouse keeper creeps over what? the closet. What opens is Opens the door. And sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> So ah, gross. Hey, well, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Meh. I didn't like it. Disappointed. Oh, come on. That wasn't scary. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay. You've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. 
What regular issues are these? Uh, it's standard issue, regulatory institutional protocol, subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. Wow. Wow. I don't know what to think, chat. I don't know what to think. That jump scare wasn't that scary. It, it led too much. What the crap? Why are there three people on the ship? What the crap was that? What is this? Is this just because we disturbed the thingy down below? <laughs> oh, it's the it's the pirates, they're back. Good fight. How come I didn't win? What the, what the heck? Arg! They be looking for some booty. <laughs> oh dear. Hey, look! It's the dude with the eye from the boat from the first time. When we broke it, did his boat? Uh. Stay quiet. So, you okay? I think so. Should have said something. Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? How's no. the others get getting me worse? The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot. I thought Jesus. You were gonna ask. Hey. Me sucker. Ah, fucker. Ah, I'll be back for you later. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. 
you're the little lady. You're gonna sucker punch me while my hands are tied, huh? Well, this isn't cool. Oh, yeah. You know how to treat a lady, right? <laughs> I want the guy to be more flippant. Let's be honest. That'd be great. Stop! Please, just stop. Slow down. Easy. I'm just gonna say nothing. Probably best to not antagonize and to not to demand. Okay, so now what? Getting put back? Be on your best behavior, little man. Okay. 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 He'll never know. Julia, you're coming back. I thought they were going to bust in with him, breaking free. Oh, Jesus, Conrad. Seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, did you see my brother? Get him untied! Y'all are idiots, man. This isn't a time to be asking for stupid stuff. No, I didn't. I hope he's alright. Alright. Turn around. What about to say? your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take them by surprise. What? Okay. You, They're coming. You literally just banged on the <sighs> door. Whatever. Fuck. Motherfuckers. What is that? What is the guy in the uniform out there? It looked like he was like a German officer or hey, something. Hey, are you okay? From World War II. What did he do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about... Parents. What? How much money they have. <clears throat> now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Well, so far it's pretty dim. on a boat maybe we can take it yeah yeah it's a speedboat the main guy yeah. he's got a gun well no. at least one of us can get on their boat get some help i think they need to pay these fuckers need to pay yeah tell them we gotta take them down they can try to fight back but if we had the gun they'd be forced to surrender seven seconds I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I climb out the window, climb around the side, and hit them from there. We'll take them from the other side. 
Don't leave us here, okay? Okay, let's do it. It's three on three right now. Looks like a basketball game. Does it get scary again? I don't know. <laughs> this is taking a while. Oh, keep calm. I guess we're all dead now. Conrad! Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Over there. Man, I made the punch Move. and everything. Right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de con! C'est mon bateau! It's my boat, stop! stop. Ferme-la! Ou je te mets mon Shut up, I'll uh, put my fist in your face. Olsen! Come here! Which one of you is gonna tell me about this? <laughs> Damn. I am the captain now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm the captain now. <laughs> There's some supposedly some treasure there. You go get that and then let us all go. Easy peasy. I think Fliss changed shirts back into what her daytime thing was, but I think she had some sort of nighttime shirt on earlier. Hey, Conrad. Right. You gave me your best shot. All right! Shut the fuck up! There is no harm in just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Huh. I'll be how dare you. Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole. You're all in this together. This is a trap, and you set us there up. Yeah, asshole. Put a cork in it. <sighs> Sit still, all of you. These things are getting faster and faster. You, come with me. Hey, Robbery 101, give them what they want. <laughs> How long the storm is gonna last? Will you try anything? Anything fishy? But there'll be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? 
It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. Nothing's wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. A couple of days? Who goes out on this boat for days? Is that a thing? Do people do that? Oh my gosh. Oh, that was close. Where do you think we're gonna go, bro? We're on a boat. Good job looking after number one. Real smooth. Great leadership, Fliss. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? I don't know where he is. They just literally out loud. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. They're like yelling it. down there than with these psychos. These guys are four feet away and they're like oh, yelling. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big bull. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. What the heck is that? Oh, it's the boat! It's the boat from the beginning! Oh, that's the dude that hit over on the... Oh, yeah, so he was dead. Uh-oh. Dude, drive the boat away from this... Okay, never mind. Just keep getting wrecked into it. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. Oh, see, everyone is still alive, chat. I did good. <sighs> Woo! Let's go. Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Uh, forewarned is forearmed. What will be, will be. You're going it alone. Independent. Admirable. Possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough. Well, if he forewarns anyway, me... now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <laughs> He's got a flask. <laughs> <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. 